Hey everybody, this is JR2576. Uh, I've been seeing a couple things on Reddit, people asking about animations, so I just wanted to cover a couple things real quick. So if you're going to animate a puppet, zoom in, scope in. I'm going to drop keyframe. the keyframe. Now it's ready to record. So now when you hover over the body part that you want to move, so L2 keeps track of the rotational data. R2 records the movement data. If you're animating a puppet or something with bolts and joints, I recommend L2 to rotate. I also like to have on precise move. So if I want to move his arm. Like that. This is all done with L2 and rotating. We'll record that. Uh, I just like to go in. You don't always have to use a blend. I just choose to. So when I copy it, it blends into the next one, and I copied it, so when I go into here, I know exactly where I left off in the frame before. So we're going to rotate these up more. So since that's at my high point, what I like to do is just clone this, bring it over, clone this, bring it over. So now it does like the full range. See? Just like that. Um, you can also do another keyframe. Of him standing still. So what I'm doing is just tapping L2 to record the rotation. But even though I didn't record, the, even though I didn't move it, so that would be like how he starts. And then I can copy this, bring this over. Bring this in. So now if I play it. Now, in the timeline, there's different settings. Once, sustain, and loop. Loop means it'll just keep looping over and over again. Sustain is when it'll play while it has power. When power runs out, then it stops, and then it'll resume from that position on. Play once means it'll just play it once. So, I'm going to mess with play it once. I am going to wire this keyframe up the square this is what I want to show you so when I press square once he'll do it just like that But now say, we're going to get rid of this one. In this keyframe, this is hands out like this. Say you want him to, after the animation ends, you want him to stay like this. Open up that keyframe, keep changes, and bring the timeline like that. So when I tap it, it's still only going to play once. 
Now, if I hold square, because now I'll have power constantly, his hands will stop like that. So you got to wire it up to give it constant power. So whenever you're doing a puppet or anything with bolts and joints, L2. Now, if I wanted to move this block, this is a little different. Now, because I want to move the block, I want to use R2. So I'm going to move it here. And then what? Record that. Copy. Now I'm going to move it here. Okay. And then I'm going to copy this one. Blend. And I'm going to put it on loop. So when I play, I'm, the box is moving. <clears throat> That's why I used R2. It's great for platforms and stuff like that. But if you're using a puppet or anything with bolts or joints, use L2. All right, that's it. I hope that helps some of you figure out your issues with him not staying in the position when it ends. Uh, why sometimes if you if you animate him with R2, then the limbs won't work or they'll stop responding to how you want to move them. 